Vibrato is an expressive tool which allows us to add color to the sound. It's produced by an oscillation of the hand which is driven by the forearm. I can give you an example by playing Sanson's piece, The Swan, once without vibrato, just the first phrase, and then with some. And then adding some vibrato for color. It's an important point to remember that practicing without vibrato is a very good discipline because it causes us to listen more closely to both intonation and how we're using bow speed to enhance the phrasing, whether you play with a faster or slower bow depending on the nuance. The action that drives the vibrato is the forearm motion which goes up and down parallel to the fingerboard, sort of like shaking a bottle of pills. A first step in producing the vibrato is to move the finger up and down the string with very little thumb pressure where you get a glissando then gradually add a gentle pressure from the thumb to settle the finger into place it would sound a bit like this to transfer vibrato from finger to finger or note to note it's important to remember that in starting the vibrato going from a lower to a higher finger, it's a directional oscillation of the forearm and hand. The vibrato, when I go from the first finger to the second finger, the vibrato starts towards the bridge. Second to third also starts towards the bridge. The same three, four. When I'm in descending order from higher to lower finger, the retraction of the finger triggers the vibrato to start towards the scroll on the next finger. the bow, it would be forward and backwards. And if you did that in a sequence of measured notes, what's important to remember is that the articulation action of the finger, which comes from the bass joint, is actually part of the trigger of the new notes vibrato. So the articulation and the vibrato are part of the same process. Okay.